<clears throat> Good morning, my name is Bob Knight. I'm the director of the Howard T. Odom Florida Springs Institute. Uh, I am a 40-year uh, environmental scientist working in Florida. I work for both your districts. Uh, we recommend uh, tabling this plan and getting more public comment on it before you go forward. I hope you'll consider that recommendation. Uh, my assistants, our interns, just handed you a fact sheet that I hope you'll look at uh, about the actual situation that uh, is behind the water supply issues in North Florida. Uh, I've been around long enough to remember in 2011 and when David still current, at that time the executive director of the Swanee River Water Management District recommended suing the city of Jacksonville because of excessive groundwater pumping from the Florida Aquifer that which his staff in the U.S. Geological Survey had found was having serious detrimental impacts on springs on the Swanee River. Uh, since that time, uh, we've confirmed what those impacts are. Uh, over a 40% reduction in the springs, the flow of the springs on the Swanee River. This is a major reduction. Uh, that's a reduction of 40% of the base flow of the whole Swanee River, which, by the way, is also polluted, so it's not only depleted, it's polluted. Uh, the total estimated pumping from the Florida aquifer in North Florida is three and a half billion gallons every day. Three and a half billion gallons a day is being pumped from the Florida aquifer. Only about ten and a half billion gallons a day recharges the aquifer. Uh, so that's and that's the water that used to come out of the springs and now comes out of uh, some. Some comes out of the springs, uh, thirty percent less, and the rest comes out of wells serving uh, nine million people in North Florida. That's fine, but the way we're using that water is not smart. It's, it's not smart. Uh, we're not protecting the plants and the animals that live in these springs. We're not protecting the natural environment that's required to do by law. And um, I would urge you to do that. Uh, we've done an evaluation of consumptive use permits that you've issued in the last uh, three to, two to three years. Over 200 permits have been issued. No. Uh, uh, yeah, over 200 permits have been issued, allocating almost 100 million gallons a day of additional water. This is after the Swanee River District found that the Santa Fe River and Itchtuckney River were already being harmed by excessive groundwater pumping. And this is after the St. John's River Water Management District staff determined that Silver Springs was being uh, irreparably harmed by reduced flows due to pumping. And yet you've issued this many more permits. What we urge you to do is First of all, put a moratorium on new consumptive use permits, all of them. Secondly, dial back the permits you have right now. It is, it is on the verge of lunacy to give permits out to irrigate crops with the highest quality water we have in the state of Florida, which is our groundwater. We should be saving that water for the highest uses, which typically are public supply. So I hope you'll consider those comments. We, We'd really like to see you delay this process. I was a member of the technical review team for the NEFSEC model. Uh, I did make comments that, of course, weren't considered in updating that model. I also uh, uh, nominated myself to be on the stakeholder advisory group. I wasn't selected for that uh, honor, and, uh, and I would have made comments there, but the group never allowed me to come and speak about the water balance issues in North Florida, which that group needed to hear. And uh, I, those. These things haven't been vetted, so that's why I gave you that, that sheet today. I hope you'll look at it, and we'll hope consider tabling this plan. Thank you.